what's up guys the wait's finally over the rifle has arrived and she's mine uh, been wanting to get this video out but been under the weather with covid and uh, still not feeling real great voice is a little little scratchy and uh, it's pretty windy out here so this hopefully this audio is okay but i uh, wanted to get this video out to you guys i know you guys have been pretty anxious to see it and i've been anxious as well to get my hands on it whenever i put that question up on a few videos back had a lot of great replies as far as what caliber you guys thought it might be that was a lot of fun and a lot of great guesses i uh, was kind of surprised only had maybe i think two or three people that guessed it right um, what i have here is a dna firearm systems rifle uh chambered in 243 the good old 243 one of my all-time favorites you guys know that have been watching the channel for a while i use a 243 bolt action in daytime hunting and uh, been wanting one for a long time in uh for for my nighttime rig and uh, went with the ar-10 platform made by dna firearm systems and man i just can't be happier this thing this thing is badass just no other way to put it uh, gonna breeze right through this you guys will be seeing this a ton on the on the channel here um, as far as shooting it uh, killing coyotes just more reviews things like that so what we're doing today is just a quick overview kind of the components the specs on this thing and uh, mainly just giving you guys a look at it uh, you guys have been anxious as as well as I have so we'll get right into it here first things first we are in a safe environment here outside where I shoot at at my range uh, make sure and take the mag out and we'll make sure that this weapon system is clear good to go there we're just gonna do a quick overview here and I'm gonna start at the back like I always do and we'll work our way towards the front just want to give you guys a quick overview um, running the MFT minimalist buttstock on this big fan of those you guys have seen the Grendel uh, that's what I run on the Grendel as well as another rifle that I have uh, it does have a carbine length buffer tube in it Running the JP Enterprise Silent Capture Spring, big fan of those. Uh, upper and lower receiver is billet aluminum for the AR-10 platform. Up top still sets the Pulsar Trail 2 XP50 LRF. Uh, this thing's a badass unit, big fan of it. Um, one thing I did do with this one is I decided to do a side charge system instead of your typical AR platform charging handle. Um, what I did here is ran a side charge. So you can kind of see right there and I'll show you a close up view of it. That's real nice because these thermals set back a little bit further. Kind of hard sometimes to grab a hold of a charging handle underneath your eyepiece on the thermal. So that charging handle on the side makes it real easy. Really like that. The trigger is made by Trigger Tech. It's the AR-10 Diamond. Uh, it's fully adjustable from 20 ounces up to 3.75 pounds. Uh, just an awesome trigger, super crisp. The safety is an ambi safety made by Trigger Tech as well. The bolt carrier group and bolt is from JP Enterprise as well. It's one of their low mass bolts. Uh, just a super awesome high quality piece of equipment there. Moving on up, uh, we've got a Lancer Firearm Systems carbon fiber handguard. Uh, this is a 15 inch version that carbon fiber is awesome especially when you're dealing with an AR-10 platform you want to shave as many ounces as you can uh, down here got a 5 inch Arca Swiss plate made by DNA themselves and you'll see here running a proof research 20 inch carbon fiber barrel uh, chambered in 243 uh, 1 in 10 twist also forgot to mention running a rifle length gas system with an SLR fully adjustable gas plug and up front like always running the griffin armament recce 7 suppressor still able to change that from you know this to five or six of my other rifles because of the taper mount system just super easy to twist it off and on i just run the ar-10 uh, 7.62 by 51 magpul magazines these are awesome big fan of magpuls mags then one other thing going back up to the trail uh, i did put this on a bobro mount uh, this is a quick detach so I can put this on the 243 where it's at right now or I can switch it over to the 6.5 Grendel or whatever I want to use at night. So that makes it real nice, real quick and easy. Holds zero really, really well. I did the barrel break in on this uh, one day last week. Uh, the way DNA recommends and the way Proof Research recommends their barrel break-ins to be done. And I'll tell you right now, this thing's a shooter. It's going to be a lot of fun. Going to be a lot of coyotes going down with this. 
like I say, this is just a quick overview, guys. I'm, I'm still feeling like crap. I uh, wanted to get out and get this done, get this knocked out for you, but you guys are going to be seeing this a ton. Haven't had a chance to get out and kill a cow with it yet, but you guys make sure to stay tuned because you know that's going to happen. Um, appreciate you guys being along. Thanks for your patience on this. Uh, going to go back in, get healed up so I can get out and chase some dogs at night. So any questions at all, make sure and comment down below. Looking forward to it, and uh, I'm going to get inside. Take it easy. Happy hunting. Be safe. We'll see you on the next one. Bye.